Hello again, Bob Stockberger with you for our midweek devotion from LifePoint and Giles. We're glad you joined us today. Has the Lord ever spoken to you through the Holy Spirit? Has He ever guided you or given you words? That's what we're going to look at today. As we're in our Easter series, we're looking at the promises of Easter. And the first one is the promise Jesus gives in John 14, we're going to go over of his presence, the helper, the Holy Spirit, and his peace. And I'm just going to read two verses for you. Uh, this is in John 14, 25 through 27. These things I've spoken to you while I am still with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give you. Let your hearts not be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The, the helper, the helper Jesus is going to give us when he, he has to go away. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, while I'm still with you, I'm telling you these last things. I'm going to be leaving soon. In just a few days, he's going to be crucified. He'll be resurrected, and 40, 50 days later, he'll be ascended into heaven. And when he's in heaven, he sends the helper. That's the Greek word, uh, parakletos, paraclete, uh, is what that word means, which really means come alongside of someone for the purpose of helping them. And uh, I've been doing that a lot recently. My wife's had some uh, back surgery, and I have been coming alongside, helping her walk, helping her get around, uh, taking care of her personal uh, care, just uh, literally coming alongside. And that's what the helper is. That's what the helper, which is the Holy Spirit, he comes alongside, but he does more than that. What does he do? I will teach you all things. I will call to your remembrance all the things I've said to you. He's going to teach us and help us to remember his words. And then he's going to give us peace. And this peace is something the world can never give. <clears throat> In this world, it is impossible to have peace because this world is filled full of sinners like me who are prideful and selfish. There's always going to be conflict. There's always going to be some strife. Uh, there are wars literally around the world right now. So this world's peace means the absence of conflict. And because we live in a world of fallen, sinful humans, there will always be conflict. So this world will never give you peace, ever. But Christ will. He will give you his peace, which um, that word from the Hebrew shalom is a greeting, but it means a lot more than that. It means you're in perfect harmony, living in the will of God, in that right relationship with our Lord and Savior. That is what peace really means that Jesus gives us. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> have you ever had that a word from the Lord. Um, I'm going to close with an example. My wife, <clears throat> we had trouble with getting um, pregnant our, when we were beginning our family many, many years ago. Um, we had a miscarriage, which was devastating. Several months later, another pregnancy. And this pregnancy was jeopardized. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, in a visit, my wife was having a lot of problems, cramping and bleeding. And the uh, high-risk OB said, you know, um, this uterus is hard and firm. I think you're probably going to lose the baby um, tonight. I'll see you back tomorrow. We'll see how things are going. Of course, we were devastated. Kathy couldn't sleep very well. But during the night, she heard words from the Lord. And these, the Lord, the Holy Spirit said, read Luke 
9.50. Luke 9.50, and just read it. And she hopped up as soon as she woke up the next morning and said, I've got to read Luke 9.50. A voice told me to do that. Well, that voice was the Holy Spirit teaching her, showing her where to go in Scripture. And here's that verse. Um, it was uh, when Jesus healed Jairus' daughter. And Jesus, um, on hearing this, answered him. He answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she will be well. Did you get that? Do not fear. Only believe, and she will get well. I don't even think we knew that this pregnancy was a female, but it was. It was our firstborn, which is a daughter, a wonderful daughter. And this word came to Kathy, and she believed. Her fear went away. She listened to the Lord speak to her. She looked at his word and knew that it was true. And she just had a peace that came over her that you can never imagine. It's, we call it the peace that passes understanding in Philippians 4, right? And you just don't understand that. In the midst of all this upset and turmoil, oh, we're going to lose another baby, oh, no, no. She was covered with the Word of God who taught her and showed her through the words of Jesus and written in Scripture, and he gave her peace. And as she went back to the doctor the next day, she just knew everything was going to be okay. He did an exam and felt that the uterus is softer now. You're not bleeding. I th and he just said, I've never seen this. You know, I think you may... Hold on to this pregnancy. And indeed she did, you know, all the way to full term. And, and we had our first uh, child of four. So we, uh, God provided us in a marvelous way. But <clears throat> this helper, <clears throat> this paraclete that comes alongside us to help us is the Holy Spirit that Jesus gives us. And he is with us. And in this Mystery I'll never understand because His Holy Spirit is with us. <clears throat> the Spirit speaks not on His own, but what He hears from the Word of the God the Father and Jesus the Son, He speaks to us. We are connected to the Trinity. I can't understand that. But we are connected to the Trinity with the Helper, the Holy Spirit. And the words the Spirit, the Spirit speaks are not His own. They're from the very throne of God the Father and at His right hand, the Lamb who was slain, Jesus Christ. And those words come to you, just like they did to Kathy. And I've had the Holy Spirit speak and, and guide me in Scripture. And words will just pop out and He will lead me in His path of righteousness so often. That is the joy of the helper, the paraclete, the Holy Spirit, the very presence of God in us to give us that peace this world will never give us, even in our most difficult struggles. Pray with me. Father God, <clears throat> I'll never understand how I can have the righteousness of God. You give that to me because you took my sin to the cross, you who had no sin, so that I might have the righteousness of God as you teach us in 2 Corinthians 5.21. How I have the righteousness of God of being a filthy sinner, I cannot explain. How I can be part of the Trinity through the power of your Holy Spirit, I cannot explain. I cannot understand, but I know you speak truth and I feel your presence I feel that peace and that joy and that hope that we have that it will never fail because of your power that you give us through giving us this helper this Holy Spirit 
Thank you, Jesus, for this promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Hope you've enjoyed our devotion this week. Uh, Share it with people. Like it. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, We'll see you back next week. If you don't have a church home, you come visit us, Life Point Giles, 600 Taswell Street, right in the heart of Parisburg. Uh, We worship at, uh, we have Sunday school at 1015 and worship at 1115 every Sunday. Come visit us. God bless you.